gentlemen, let's go racing here at Knoxville. Only the best go three of It is showtime at Williams Grove Speedway. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here at Eldora Speedway, it's showtime. You are the best, you got them for a rest. Often imitated, never duplicated, the greatest show on dirt, the world. It's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy, because ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Set to do battle for 30 laps, the green flag is waving. Hello again, it is Wing Nation, presented by Hercules Tires, right on our strength, talking sprint car racing, our favorite time of the week, and we are glad that you joined us. Aaron Evernham. Back in the saddle again yeah. after a whirlwind tour of Indianapolis and Nashville. Yeah, it was a really tough 10 days. Bless uh, your yeah, heart, yeah. yeah. It was yeah. tough. Indianapolis 500, some concerts, the first yeah. inaugural Music City Outlaw Nationals. It was tough. Well, have you know, Ross Weiss did a wonderful job filling in last week. Okay. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. Ross was great hanging out with Ross. So we've got a good uh, we've got a good plan. Should you decide to gallivant around? Oh, and go really? Again? Yeah. yeah. So He's going to take over my no, seat. No, 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 no. I said, shall you decide <laughs> to gallivant around again? Okay. Well, there'll probably no, be no, more no. gallivanting. We're not, we're not. No, we're not. No, no, no. Time out. Pump the brakes on that talk. No, no, no. <laughs> it was great having Ross here, but yeah. it is good to have you back. And uh, you have been on the World Wind Tour. How was Indy? First off, that just that just looked like a great time. Indy is just an incredible place. It really is. I, they estimate I think they had three hundred eighty-five thousand people on Sunday. And uh, did you see the flyover? No, no, no. The flyover I was, I was, was one of the best I was at I've Port ever Royal seen. Donuts, so, oh, okay. Yes. Busy with the donut. Yes. Now, uh, Indy is just a special place, and they it's growing and it's crazy. And you know what? One of the coolest things about Indy is there's a ton of young fans. Yeah. A yep. lot of young fans, a lot of teenagers. 20s, 30s. Exciting. Yeah, it's it exciting. was a good time. It's good to see then Red Brand Fence Wing Nation, yeah. World International, Nashville, Big Machine Records, a live show there. And then uh, and then at the fairgrounds, uh, looks like you guys had a ball out there. We did. The Big Machine Vodka Distillery and Store was a good time. And some of our <laughs> drivers and their crews had a very good time with the lemonade slushies. Yes. And and Ray and I are still married. We made it through three shows without, you wow. know. Yeah, yeah. Lots, lots yeah. of things. No, we had a good time. Craiger did an awesome job, and Frank Beers good was stuff. there to help us. It was, uh, the drivers, of course, were awesome. They all were very willing yeah. to come on the show. That is cool. It's good. And the crowd in Nashville. Oh, that crowd in Nashville. Ay, ay, ay. Man, that was, that was great to see. It was packed. Great to see. That is for sure. Uh, I went to the fabulous Lincoln Speedway. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I love Lincoln. And uh, got to see got to see Anthony Macri get a second career win. Yep. Okay. Um, youngster. We had a ball with him. I'll, I'll share the He's story a now. He's youngster. He is at 19 <laughs> years old. We had fun with him at um, Port Royal the week before. He apparently is a little microphone shy. Oh. So we had a rain delay at Port, and uh, I went down to turn four where all the drivers were watching the um, the, the, the mattress uh, the mattress clean the racetrack. Yeah. Up. That's a whole other story that we haven't even figured out yet. But uh, Danny Dietrich said Macri doesn't want to talk. He's scared, and he, he was literally scared to death. I saw he that even, picture going yeah, around Twitter. Yeah, and so, uh, but we got him to talk, and now we're going to have him chatting with us and the big winner from Nashville, Shane Stewart, joining us on yeah, the program. big so, winners. Yes, absolutely. So it is great. But Lincoln uh, spent a little time with Jerry Parrish, the new owner at Lincoln. Yep. His vision for that place, if he is able to do 50%, and, and I believe Jerry's going to do 100% yeah. of what he says, okay? If he's able to do 50%, batten down the hatches awesome. as to what a dirt track is going to look like. I, I mean, I, I got done, I, I was just, and, and how it's going to be operated and how busy the place is going to be and what's all going to happen there. I am telling you, I came away, I came away, I always come away from Lincoln feeling good because it's great racing, yeah. great crowd on a rainy night. Um, but talking to Jerry Parrish about the future of it, I feel so strong about what they've got going on. And I just, I, I'm, I'm excited about it. So That's neat, neat what stuff. What we love to hear about yes, dirt racing. Absolutely. It's great to get out there. Let's take a look at our classic ink screen printing and embroidery hot topics. It was. The Music City Nationals, World of Outlaw NOS Energy Sprint Cars, Donnie Shots going to Victory Lane yep. on, a, on a rough track on our challenging racetrack on Friday night. Yeah. Yep. Lots of challenges. Uh, Shane Stewart, what a battle with Brent Marks. That was a great battle. My. And they put God. on a show. They did put on a show. I was, uh, two days later when I watched the uh, highlights, I was screaming at my laptop <laughs> and I knew what happened. Uh, it was great. Central Pennsylvania. Poor old Dylan Sisney. Dylan Sisney, um, of course, he's the one that lives. The, you could you could you could spit from Port Royal and hit his <laughs> shop. Okay, 
travels down to Williams Grove and leads into turn number three. And that big old meanie Danny Dietrich passed him in turn uh. four. And Anthony Macri got the uh, got the win. King of the West Series, man, again, California young talent, Colby Copeland. Mm-hmm. I actually um, watched him win the Caden Classic last year and talked to him. He was at Millbridge a few weeks yeah. ago. And uh, he picked up the King of the West win. Mansfield Friday night winners, Corey Eliason and Aaron Reitzel. Saturday night rain, and that event has been scrapped. Yeah. Uh, because they couldn't find a um, suitable uh, date to run the $100,000 Wins Pro World Sprint Car Championship. And how about our boy T-Mac? T-Mac is back, baby. Oh, yeah. 59th win at Knoxville. 59th win. He was rolling, yeah, too. He I was. watched that on Dirt Vision. He looked better than he did all last year. That, yeah. was, that was fantastic. You know, T-Mac, he could go to the top, he could go to the middle, he yeah. could diamond it, he could do everything. He, with authority. Yeah, that's old school T-Mac. That's right old there. school T-Mac right there, just getting her geared up for sure. So there you have it. It's a classic ink screen printing and embroidery hot topics, whether you're looking for hats or shirts or towels or sweatshirts or, or, or hoodies or whatever you may need, they have it. They, of course, have the Wing Nation line. You can find out that at wingnation.com. But really, you can find out what drivers like Brian Brown and Donnie Schatz, Danny Dietrich, and Brady Bacon, they get their stuff there. You should get yours as well, whether you're talking about a corporate event, whether you're talking about a church group, a youth league, or your race team. You can even do it for race teams. It's www.classicinkusa.com, classicinkusa.com. Great race on Friday night at Ocean Speedway. Speaking of the Cading mm-hmm. Classic, it was Bud Cading. He was wheeling and dealing with Justin Sanders. And it was a Friday night at Ocean Speedway in Watsonville, California. Speed Shift TV had it. Kading ended up with his third win of the uh, season. For us, it's our Dry Dean Diesel all deftifying move of the week. And now for the Dry Dean deftifying move of the week, where one driver simply amazes us with their on track moves. Sanders back to the top, and Kading goes down to the bottom. They're side by side, and it turns one and two. Another slider. Sanders hits Kading in the rear end. They're side by side in a turn three. Sanders went down to the bottom to try to slide Kading, but Kading took the spot. That deaf defying move was brought to you by Dry Dean Diesel All Deaf, the official deaf of the world of outlaws and wheelmen everywhere. Visit drydean.com for more information. Right now at O'Reilly Auto Parts, pick up five quarts of Mobile One full synthetic motor oil for $28.95 and get a $10 O'Reilly gift card by mail. Protect your engine from sludge and wear with Mobile One full synthetic motor oil at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Here's your chance to win a set of your very own Hercules tires. Go to HerculesTires.com slash MRN. Simply register, and each month we'll give away one set of tires. Hercules Tires has the value, selection, and industry-leading mileage coverage to get you wherever you need to go, no matter where the road takes you. Register now for your chance to win a set of Hercules Tires at HerculesTires.com slash MRN. Hercules Tires, ride on our street. Since the dawn of American industry, Drydeen was there as the country built its first roads, laid the blocks of its factories, and spanned rivers with new bridges and rails. Today, with Drydeen's all technology, we instill this heritage into every Drydeen oil, lubricant, fluid, and DEF product we make. Drydeen is a tradition of performance with 21st century technology. Drydeen, official motor oil of the world of outlaws and always American owned and operated. Visit drydeen.com for more information. Aggressive Hydraulics, where we engineer the cylinders that move your business. We specialize in designing and manufacturing purpose-built application-specific hydraulic cylinders with superior precision and performance, making OEM products stronger, crafting cylinders that operate on a global basis in a wide variety of industries and applications. Get aggressive with your cylinder challenges. AggressiveHydraulics.com This is Brian Brown. She's married to one of the greatest crew chiefs of all times and my hero, and he likes beer and chicken wings. It's Steve Post and Aaron Evernham on Wing Nation. Thank you, Brownie. Welcome back. It is Wing Nation, presented by Hercules Tires, right on our strength. Let's go to the Red Brand Fence Hotline. Joining us fresh off from a trip Saturday night to Victory Lane and a big old winner's check, Shane Stewart's on the line. Hello, Shane. Welcome back to Wing Nation. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it. It's been a little while since I've been on your show for uh, talking about a win. So it uh, feels good. 
I was just <laughs> I was just thinking about that, and it is good to have you back talking about a win. You picked a pretty good time with a pretty good payday to do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, we had some things that uh, that fell in our lap for us to get that win, but by God, I'll take it. We um, we we've had some decent speed here lately, and um, you know, we're we're getting it. You know, Barry and I, we we're we're starting to get on the same pace with each other, and, and uh, been a little bit of a struggle, but. But uh, you know everybody's kept their heads down and they keep working hard and and that's the main thing, right? That's what you got to do on the World of Outlaw Tour to, to stay out there to try to be successful. You got to just keep working hard because it's it's a tough deal, tough gig. <laughs> Shane, t- talk about that battle for the lead. Uh, Brent got by you. The caution came out with, at a perfect time. Then he got back by you again. And you made it work. You found your way. But he got a little bit caught up in the cushion in the wall, and you got by him, and the rubber came in. But talk about that battle. I mean, you guys put on a thriller for the fans. Yeah, thanks. No, it was uh, it was a good race. And, and honestly, when you're trying to compete for a win, that's what you want uh, for, for the fans and for us drivers as well. It's You know, those races are fun. So, But, yeah, I just I knew that the bottom was going to come into play at some point. Uh, the 19, honestly, was probably a little bit better than we were. And uh, once once we got in the lap traffic, I saw him start to move around, and, and I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to, to make the top work. And, and um, you know, like you said, he kind of slipped up a little bit and, and got into the wall, and, and uh, it just kind of opened the door for us, and, and everything worked out well. But I knew, like, once I got the lead, uh, to not get off the bottom again because, you know, the night before was pretty similar to the same type of track. So, um, but just, uh, you know, gotta, gotta thank the outlaw guys for, for trying hard for one. I know, I know Friday night wasn't ideal for everybody and they really cleaned up their act for Saturday and, and did everything that they possibly could do to make that track as racy as possible. And, and I felt like they did that. Shane, the event, and I know that you're uh, you're a guy that uh, has spent some time in Nashville and, and, and been there uh, in, enjoying all of the stuff that Nashville has to offer. Um, and again, you've already qualified. The, the, the track, especially Friday night, wasn't what we were looking for. But the scope, the scale, the size, the fun, the crowd, everything else, how would you assess the event there? I, I assess it really well. You know, I mean, we were all excited to go to Nashville and – just due to the fact that it's a fun town, um, it's a, it was a big market for the outlaws to kind of dip into, and and we all wanted it to be a successful event and show, and and so we could try to grow it and and keep coming back because you know a lot of the tracks we go to they're not surrounded by by really fun towns to go and hang out in and and sneak away a little bit after the after the race and and Nashville is one of those one of those cool cities that you could do that and everybody had a good time uh even even my my crew chief had a good time which is good because he doesn't go out very often and and uh it was a successful weekend okay so so how did you get barry to go out and where did you guys go <laughs> <laughs> i actually i think after we won the race he didn't have a choice we oh. were we told him he had to go out that was just all there was to it uh so- his uh, lovely wife natalie kind of helped us out a little bit there and and honestly, I don't even remember where we went. We would just went to a couple of bars downtown yeah. and, and had a good time. I, you know, by the time we got down there, it was already pretty late. So, uh, you know, we hung out for a little bit and enjoyed our victory. And, um, and then it was back to normal the next day. They were trucking to David Ward's place, which is one of our good sponsors, um, and uh, back to work. So... But it was it was good to to be able to enjoy a victory like that in a cool town like Nashville. It was great to see all of the the fans that came out and supported the event. I don't I'm not sure how many fans were there on Saturday, but that that's a pretty big grandstand, and uh, it looked like it was pretty full. Sure was, Shane. I, I just want to say that I really commend you and all the drivers uh, for for pulling off such a great event. I feel like on Friday, when I talked to a lot of you, or even Thursday, your initial reaction to seeing the track and what you were faced with was um, less than ideal. And yet, you put on a spectacular show, and everyone forged through. Um, going back, going back there next year, hopefully, obviously, with that crazy crowd. What are some things that you would suggest they do with the track? Honestly, they don't need to. Do a whole lot. They 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 got to do two things. They got to open up the entries, 
yeah. the corners and give the track a little bit of banking. And I honestly think that if they can do those things, um, uh, it would fix, you know, some of the issues that we were kind of struggling with. Unfortunately, the way the track was shaped, uh, it made us, you know, run the bottom more so than the top. And then, you know, unfortunately, it just ended up taking a little bit of rubber both nights. And, and once it took rubber around the bottom, there was just no other way to, no other place to be on the track besides the bottom. So I think if they can do those two things, uh, maybe work on trying to get us on and off the track a little bit easier. Um, but, you know, the, the two main things is just opening up our entry uh, and then giving the track a little bit of banking so we can run against the fence and, and you know, actually show the, the crowds what a real true, you know, World of Outlaw race looks like, the slide jobs and, and all that stuff. So I know that, um, you know, when I talk to uh, Tom Deary and, and those guys after the race on Saturday, their their minds are already already working at how they can make that track better. So it's just uh, I'm I'm hoping that the fans will, will come back next year and and support it again, and and they can see a, a, another good show. Another good one for sure. That is it. You don't get any rest. You're getting ready to go tonight, Fairbury American Legion Speedway. Had you <sighs> raced there? What's 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 the what's the story with this track you have tonight? Hey, buddy, let me tell you how my day's gone today. Uh-oh. So I, I get in the I get in the motorhome. We start cruising down the road, and of course my the uh, transmission starts throwing these crazy codes at me, and it doesn't shift. Oh, so man. I oh boy have turned around, had to go back to my house, get my pickup to pull my t-shirt trailer, and uh, thank goodness I have some good friends that that are willing to uh, stick their neck out and, and help me in situations like this. So I've drop the motor home off at a buddy's place he's gonna take a peek at it and, and uh myself and jen and the dog are headed to fairbury <laughs> oh, so that's my that's been my morning you know you guys i've had this conversation i think with you and i've had this conversation with darren oh yeah you guys are you guys are uh motor coach repairmen first and race car drivers second dude don't even get me started <laughs> i'm telling you i feel like that's all i do is work on this kind of thing but yeah uh I, i've actually had uh, really good luck with this one until now. So <laughs> I can't really complain. Too much. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I was so happy to see you pick up that win on Friday night or Saturday night out at Nashville. Can't wait to watch you guys on Dirt Vision tonight. Appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us here today, Shane. Any, anytime, guys. Thank you. There we go, Shane Stewart. Man, that guy. That's funny. <laughs> I mean, funny. funny for us. Not yeah, funny yeah, for yeah. Him. No, he's not laughing like we are. No, uh, no. Yeah, he, the he, motorhome. Yeah. There should be like a whole series about the motorhome I trouble know. of the outlaws. I know because I. It's yeah. like you. You sometimes you mention it to Darren, and he want to strangle. You yeah. just mention the two words, motorhome. Yeah. Well, I think Ray actually offered him a job when he retires from sprint car racing to just come <laughs> work on our motorhome <laughs> full time. Pretty sure that happened in Nashville. <laughs> That's great. Oh, good stuff. Great, great to hear from Shane Stewart. And as he said, great to talk to him after. A big win. Yes. Nice chatting with him. Another big winner was Anthony Macri. He won at the fabulous Lincoln Speedway. We'll dial up him and talk to him in just a moment. Don't forget, though, Hercules Tires is giving away a set of four tires. Now we're into June, so you need to go back in and register. You go to HerculesTires.com slash MRN. Maybe you can be the June winner of a set of tires. Anthony Macri joins us next. The winner z 6 corvettecom sweepstakes to benefit the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum in Knoxville, Iowa is underway. Go to winner z 6 corvettecom to find out how you can win the Torch Red 2019 Z06 Corvette that is on display now in the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum. The winner will be announced Saturday night, August 10th during the 59th annual Knoxville Nationals. Visit winner z 6 corvettecom to win this awesome ride. 10 tours, over 200 nights of racing. The American Sprint Car Series is back for its 28th year. Whether you're enjoying the Lucas Oil American Sprint Car Series National Tour at Williams Grove, Eagle Raceway, Skagit Speedway, or any of the nine ASCS regional tours across Arizona, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and beyond, winged and even non-winged, there's a race happening near you. Check online for schedule details at ASCSRacing.com. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And when you can't be there live, catch the National Tour and select regional events on RacingBoys.com. 
Looking for custom racewear and embroidery? Do you want your race fans to represent your race team with trendy original apparel? Contact Classic Ink USA, the new standard in custom screen printing and embroidery. Located in Greater Pittsburgh, Classic Ink USA's professional staff utilizes state-of-the-art facilities to transform your ideas into an attractive wearable piece. From custom track swag racewear to trendy quick crew crew wear, Classic Ink handles it all. Find out how you can get started. Contact Classic Ink USA screen printing and embroidery at the track and on your back. Need a specialized tool to finish your vehicle repair? There's no need to buy it if you're only going to use it once. Check out O'Reilly Auto Parts Loaner Tool Program, available at any O'Reilly store. Find tools like a ball joint press, disc brake caliper tool set, and more. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. This is Shane Stewart, and you're watching MRN's Wing Nation on MRN.com. Welcome back. It is Wing Nation. We are having a ball. Aaron Everham and Steve Post here. Uh, I had uh, I had messed up on some of the promotional stuff. I forgot that uh, our young racer had won back a couple years ago. Uh, so it was not the career first 410 win, but boy, it's been like knocking on the door yeah. and getting back to Victory Lane. And he joins us now fresh off from that trip to Victory Lane at the fabulous Lincoln Speedway. Anthony Macri's on the line. Hello, young man. How are you? Good morning, you guys. Uh, we're doing well. I'm telling you what, it I guess it's all the close calls that had me thinking that it had been so long. You have you it had to be a relief to cross that line and get that win on Saturday night. Um yeah, we're supposed to we've been this year for as many times. Oh, bad signal. Okay, we're gonna try to call him back, try to dial him up again. So uh yeah, it was uh it was fun stuff. Uh, Glendon, uh, or Glendon for or not Glendon Forsyth. Um, oh, I got brain fade. T- um, TJ Stutz. Yeah, TJ yeah. Stutz was up there running yeah. the front. I was great, and and we had and, a good battle. Yeah, for it that. was. It was a good stuff. So, um, just really, really good stuff. Let's uh, let's go back to the line. You there now, Anthony? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, that's much better. The relief <laughs> crossing the line and 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 getting that getting that next win. How was that? What's that like? Uh, felt pretty awesome. I mean. We've been working hard this year, trying some different stuff, and for it to finally pay off, it felt pretty nice. Anthony, you've had a, a bunch of second place finishes, a bunch of great battles for the lead. I know that one with Dietrich that was a little controversial. Um, talk about how frustrating that is as a driver. You're you're right there, you're close, you've gotten seconds, you're running with the top guys, but you can't get that win, and then you finally do. I um, mean, yeah, up until Saturday, we we've been scratching our heads and just trying to figure out what we needed to get that last little bit. I mean, everyone jokes around that we need the features to be 20 laps for us to win <laughs> one. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, to finally get one feels awesome. I mean, definitely a confidence booster for going into the rest of the season. I can imagine, and it's getting to be busy for you guys, and you're getting ready to do a whole bunch of racing, that is for sure. Uh, Anthony, um, we've uh, we've talked about uh, your your program, and when you're, when you're a young racer like you are, having some veteran leadership around you during these time mm-hmm. periods, how important has that been? Uh, different people that have helped along the way, guys like Moon Buyers and people like that, how important has that been to, to, sorry, to walk you through this? Again. I'm sorry? Oh, you cut out there again. Okay, how important has it been for you to have some veterans, guys like Moon Buyers, around you to help you through these uh, trials and tribulations? I mean, uh, I think it's helped me tremendously. I mean, without Moon or anybody else helping us, uh, I don't even know where we would be right now. It's just uh, Moon. Moon can see stuff that I'm doing on the track that, like, I wouldn't even really think I'm doing wrong, but it is wrong. So, you know, him helping me. Definitely helps a lot. I mean, he brings a lot of knowledge to the table. I mean, Saturday was his 300th win, I believe, as a crew chief. Wow. Not everyone has 300 wins as a crew chief. Wow, that's I didn't that is very that. cool. Wow. Anthony, along those same lines, you have the opportunity to race with some great veterans like Dietrich, Deweese, uh, you know, the Raymer family. Um, how do you... How can you like learn? Is it from watching them? Is it from talking to them? But how great is it that you have some great drivers right around you? I think we're having that. Yep. Hey, are you there? (laughs) Yeah, I'm here. (laughs) How how important? We're going to go one more question and then uh, and 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 then move on here. But how important is it for to be able to race with guys like Lance and Danny and 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 Greg Hodnett over the last few years and to to watch those guys? What have you learned from those guys? I mean, 
from them guys, you learn to learn how to be, like, patient. I mean, uh, when I first started, I mean, I was just wild and out of control. I mean, <laughs> really didn't have any patience at all. And, you know, watching Dietrich and Deweese and, and Greg, I mean, all those guys are just, they calculate all their moves. They just, they just don't go into anything. I mean, they're patient, and that's just something you got to learn to win races. I mean, Dietrich told me a couple weeks ago, to win a race, you gotta win. You gotta finish it first. So, yeah, that's, that's definitely some truth behind that. Pretty good advice, that's for sure. Well, we're gonna cut you, cut it loose here as far as that goes. With only one other question, okay? Um, look at now, we're here, and you did not want to be talked to by me at Port Royal, but I stuck a <laughs> microphone in here, and now you're on the show, and you're still in the upright position. So, are, are we good to start doing more interviews now? <laughs> I guess so. I guess so too. I'm glad. I'm glad. I, I I know I chatted with you briefly before the race on uh, on on Saturday night. I'm glad I got to be there and watch it. You you're doing a whale of a job behind the wheel, and uh, you're doing pretty good on the interviews too. So we appreciate you joining us, Anthony. Thank you. You got it, Anthony Macri joining us. I hate we had the phone issues there. Yeah. Um. He just man. I'll tell you what. That again. I I we have like three or four different themes in this show, and yeah. good kids is one of the themes. Yep. And actually listening to him talking about learning from Moon and Moon yeah. telling about my sake, it sounds just like Freddie Raymer. It sounds just like all these young yeah. kids that we have and, uh, and, and, and to have guys like Moon Byers that are still yeah. involved in the sport and Barry Jackson, guys like that that are involved in the sport. Yep. Man, it's such a luxury for race car drivers to have those guys. It really is. And to hear a driver really want to learn. You know, there's some young yeah. drivers that come up and think they know everything, but everyone we talk to on the show is – trying to absorb as much as they can from these veterans. This kid is gold. This kid is absolute gold. Watching him on the racetrack and, yeah, a little bit, little bit, in all complete honesty, a little shy, a little nervous around microphones and everything. Well, that that comes with time. You know, you get in victory lane enough, you'll be a pro. Keep enough, you're going to be doing a lot of interviews. (laughs) So, uh, but man, I'll tell you what, a good kid, good family, great, uh, great racing family there. And good to have Anthony Macri on the show. We appreciate the time and him joining us here today. Want to remind you again of those Hercules tires, a set of four. Hercules Tires can be yours here in the month of June. Go to HerculesTires.com slash MRN. More Wing Nation in just a moment. For over 50 years, drivers in sprint car, midget, micro, modified, and even dirt lay model have taken the checkered flag on weld racing wheels. Legendary drivers like Joe Saldana, Carl, Mark, and Steve Kinzer, Doug Wolfgang, and countless other racers have trusted weld racing wheels for their superior strength and lightweight construction to finish ahead of the competition. With 50 years of race winning engineering and technology, American-made weld racing wheels are designed and built to withstand virtually any abuse you throw at them. Weld racing, proven speed. Sage Fruit is a high-quality grower, packer, and shipper of Washington State apples, pears, and cherries. Sage Fruit believes in sprint car racing as a proud sponsor of sprint cars for the past 16 years and a partner of Wing Nation for the past four years. We love sprint car racing, and we're there for our sprint car fans. Sage Fruit works hard to deliver an exceptional eating experience. We value our relationship with sprint car fans and appreciate your continued support of Sage Fruit. Ask for Sage Fruit at your local grocer. Red Brand Fence, the most durable, dependable, and safest fence in the world. Top horse farms use Red Brand Fence to safeguard their equine investments. Cattlemen install it to ensure their cattle are safe. Racetracks around the world use it to protect spectators, fans, and crews. For over a century, Red Brand's quality has been used internationally for countless uses. Red Brand Fence, the most trusted name in fence. Explore our products at redbrand.com. No matter what or where you race, Hefner Racing Products and HRP Wings has you covered. Check out the premier Shark Wing as well as other Sprint Car Wings and components. Sprint Car, Mini and Micro Sprint Wings, and the HRP Original Recess Rivet Wing. All HRP Wings are wind tunnel tested. HRP carries a full line of affordable, top of the line, USA built Sprint Car components. Shop online for all this and more at HRPRacing.com. The racer's choice, Hefner Racing Products and HRP Wings. Hi, I'm David Grau, and you're listening to Wing Nation. It is Wing Nation, presented by Hercules Tires, right on our strength. Aaron Everett Hammond, Steve Post here, and let's continue on. Uh, this time in the show, we do our uh, National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum birthday calendar. Uh, today is the birthday of Norman Buddy Jones, a 1998 inductee into the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame. He grew up, he was born in 1941 in Danville, Illinois. He grew up and loved motorcycles, but his kids and his family didn't. They hated the motorcycles. 
So as a um, as a, his his brother in law had a modified car, and so they decided to see, and his driver got injured or something, and so they put Buddy in the car, and Buddy's like, I don't know, running five nights on the old modified course may not be much safer than riding the motorcycles, yeah. but it worked for the family and it worked for him. Now he also, I love this. He worked as a barber in a barber shop. The barber was Larry Boom Boom Cannon. And whenever I can say boom boom on the air and not talking about a stripper, that's pretty cool. So Larry Boom Boom Cannon, who was also a sprint car racer, ran sprint cars and super Maybe he modified. was a stripper, too. Maybe he was, exactly. Yes, exactly. We know he's a barber. Maybe he was a sprint car driver and a stripper, too. That's a threefer. Um, so, uh, so yes. So, had great success in the late 70s mm-hmm. with USAC. 22 times he won USAC sprint car races. 1980, he headed west. He was the 84 and 85 uh, champion of the CRA Tour. He retired, and he was very critical in the promotional efforts of uh, Paris Auto Speedway. Wow. And loved and respected by all and continues on today. Wow. So, uh, yes. So, Norman Buddy Jones. Another one of the great stories off turn number two yep. at the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum. Birthdays later this week, Sherman Red Campbell, Chuck Merrill on Sunday, and man, I'll tell you, I got to, at Port Royal, I got to spend a lot of time with Keith Kaufman. His birthday's yeah. a Sunday. He's a cool guy. Man, he is the man from Nippon yeah. Town. I am uh-huh. telling you, he's not, a, he's not one of those guys who comes out and beats on his chest nope. and says a lot, but we just, I hung out in one of the rain delays in his suite and we just visited. Yeah. And God, what a cool guy he is. I mean, he's awesome. So uh, Sunday's his birthday. So there you have it, National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum. Make sure you get your raffle tickets on the Corvette. Yeah. They've got a trip to Australia. They've got all kinds of stuff going on. So SprintCarHOF.com. That's SprintCarHOF.com. Okay, so I hope you're rested up from Nashville or get rested up. Uh, I need a little rest, but yeah, okay. I'll be ready. Well, tonight we've got a Dirt Vision night. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Racing Boys, too. Ugh. We've got we've got a two for tonight, a two for Tuesday. <laughs> two for devices. Two for devices, yes. So we've got Racing Boys because uh, they're at in Mesquite, Texas. Yep. Uh, the uh, Lucas Oil ASCS National Tour is at Devil's Bowl. They're sizzling summer speed weeks, okay? And the World of Outlaws are at Fairbury American Legion yeah. Speedway. So we've got two races tonight, okay? But then after you get rested up from this, it's only a few weeks oh, yeah. until it's Minnesota Mafia Wing Nation from the Ag Code Jackson Nationals. Oh, <laughs> are you yeah. Kidding me? I'm telling you what, folks, if you don't have your tickets for the Jackson Nationals now, you are behind the curve. <laughs> <laughs> because you want to talk about a throwdown. Oh, yeah. We have a throwdown. One, uh, last year at this thing, I looked up, and Erin <laughs> had a pancake flying through the air 25 yeah. feet above her head. And she I split, caught it. And she caught it. I was I pancakes. surprised myself. We surprised everybody there, too. <laughs> but no, this event, the Jackson, Ed, Ed Co. Jackson Nationals is great. We're going to have three shows out there, uh, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. They've got all kinds of great things going on. And uh, and, and on Thursday, actually, we're going to talk to Doug Johnson about all yeah. that they do have going on. But, uh, yeah, that's our next road show. So we would love to have you join us. Jackson, Minnesota, coming up on June 27th, 28th, and 29th. Oh, my gosh. I... I can't wait. And I got a lot of racing between now and then. Okay, I'm going to even hit three nights of Ohio Speed Week, it looks like, coming up. But I'm still geeked up about Jackson. Uh, This is going to be great. So, hey, Wing Nation gear is available. www.wingnation.com. That's wingnation.com. We've got Wing Nation gear available. So, let's talk about it. It's our HRP uh, racing uh, upcoming calendar coming up on Thursday. Uh, Doug Johnson from from uh, Jackson Motorplex is going to join us. And this one here coming up on Saturday, the downsized Craig Kinzer. Yeah. Yes, he's going to join us on Wing Nation presented by Sage Fruit on Mav TV. So there you have it, our HRP Racing Products upcoming calendar. Thanks to Shane Stewart and Anthony Macri for joining us here today on Wing Nation. Wing Nation has been brought to you by Hercules Tires. Ride on our string. Watch Wing Nation Saturday mornings on MAV TV. You can also find Wing Nation on wingnation.com or your favorite podcast provider. Wing Nation is a production of the Motor Racing Network. All rights reserved.